Yesterday on Reddit, Discord, and Instagram developer team of KSP2 released an image containing system requirements for KSP2 game. Kerbal Space Program 2 is an upcoming space flight simulation video game, and it's one of the most anticipated games of the year. It's the sequel to the original Kerbal Space Program, which was released in 2011. KSP2 promises to be an even more immersive experience, with improved graphics, gameplay, and new features. But before we get too excited about the game, let's talk about the system requirements. You can see the image on your screen. I was amazed as you are. KSP2 minimum requirement is in 6th Gen i5 processor and a 8GB VRM GPU starting from RTX 2060, minimum RAM is 12GB, and Shoking Part 2, Storage. You need 45GB minimum space to install this game. These are the minimum system requirements to run the game. If you don't know, Steam Hardware Survey says that 60% of gamers on Steam use GTX 1650 a card released in 2018. The GPU shown in this image is 5x powerful than that, and also expensive. A lot of you probably thinking that's exaggerated, I can run it in my PC just fine, but, wait, when these developers say it's minimum, they mean it, game won't run fine, fine means 60 frames per second, talking about recommended system requirements, world's 5% gamers contains that requirements, those are an 11th Gen i5, and a whooping 3080, 16 GB RAM, and 60 GB storage. Wow! But, if you want to have the best experience, you'll need to aim for the recommended system requirements. For that, you'll need at least an Intel Core i7-8700K or an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X processor. For graphics, you'll need at least an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080T or an AMD Radeon RX Vega 64. You'll also need at least 16 gigabytes of RAM and 75 gigabytes of available storage space. Again, a 64-bit operating system is required and Windows 10 is recommended. This is a good thing for the people who expects this game to be the best looking game they have ever seen. And we all are those people. The reason of this high spaces are indicates that the game is heavily GPU based, and that means only one thing, the game will have amazing graphics, about the storage thing. 60 GB storage also indicates that a lot of explorable area as it's a huge game and heavy texture files means good graphics. Now, let's talk about what these system requirements mean. If your computer meets the minimum requirements, you'll be able to run Kerbal Space Program 2 but you may experience some performance issues. The game may not run as smoothly as you'd like, and you may have to turn down some of the graphics settings to get the best performance. If your computer meets the recommended system requirements, you should be able to run Kerbal Space Program 2 with no issues. You'll be able to enjoy the game at its best graphics settings, and you won't have to worry about any performance issues. All things aside, we can't judge anything at this point, we need to wait for the early access release and try it out ourselves. I will be making all the tutorials and explanation videos for you guys so please subscribe, like, and comment. In conclusion, Kerbal Space Program 2 is an exciting game, and it's important to make sure your computer meets the system requirements before you buy it. If your computer meets the recommended system requirements, you'll be able to enjoy the game at its best. But if you don't quite meet the recommended requirements, don't worry, you'll still be able to play the game, just not at its full potential. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video has been helpful in understanding the system requirements for Kerbal Space Program 2.